Dealing with students who have difficulty seeing and hearing what is happening during classroom instruction is a common issue for many teachers. Technology tools already available in many classrooms can help those with special needs as well as all students to better see and hear and therefore understand the concepts being discussed by their teacher and other classmates. When should teachers make use of vision and hearing technologies that can assist learning? Whenever it will help students to better see and hear the learning activities that are a part of their instruction. Research shows that one in four children have a vision problem that affects their ability to learn. And research also confirms over 8 million students have a hearing loss that can impact their educational progress. In this video, we will see room audio systems being used to help all students hear every word of instruction, not only from the teacher, but from classroom multimedia and conversations from other students in the room as well. We will also see how software included with every computer sold in the United States today can turn almost any text into speech, and many that can even turn speech into text. Here a teacher is wearing a microphone connected to an amplified speaker, which can be positioned anywhere in the room. This gives every student a front row seat, at least with respect to sound clarity and volume. This same amplifier will enhance the audio from the video being shown, and from handheld mics that can let even the softest spoken student be heard anywhere in the room. Tell me uh, who would kick one of the characters in this story. <laughs> I talk to my regular ed teachers every week and find out what tests they're having. I read the test out loud with the accommodations. Um, the students get the iPods in the regular education classroom. They listen to their tests. They don't have to leave. There's no, they get everything they need right there in that inclusion setting. Basic Biology Chapter 1 Vocabulary Quiz Modifications Put a star beside letter A as an apple. Laptop computers come with built-in software that helps students with vision problems see more clearly. One obvious but often overlooked tool is the ability to simply change font size. And for students whose learning style is more auditory than visual, speech-to-text software can be learned to use in just minutes. Mrs. Boyd is an awesome teacher. So we have Mrs. Boyd is absent, <laughs> but we can fix that. It's going to read it to you and it's going to highlight the words as it goes. Okay. okay. This is a journal, not a diary. The kids, they want to read. They're just not at a reading level independently where they're able to enjoy and understand the books that they cognitively want to read. It gives them the keys to be able to do that. And it's the best way for kids to listen and read digital books is to be able to see it as well as hear it and have that word be highlighted. So hopefully they're going to continue to be interested in books and learn all the vocabulary and language that comes with, you know, reading. Plus, they're going to be improving their reading skills at the same time because they're going to see that word as it's being read to them. Exciting to see the kids excited to learn and excited to try these things out. You know, you give them the tools and that's not an obstacle anymore. And they think it's exciting and they think it's fun and all the other kids in their class are like, well, I want one too, I want to try that. They're, so they're the cool kids now because now they're utilizing the technology. Mm -hmm. 